The Zika virus brings unknown human experimentation to the forefront, male mosquitoes that have been sterilized by low doses of radiation, mosquitoes that are altered so that their offspring will die before reaching adulthood and being able to reproduce, are infecting female mosquitoes with the Wolbachia bacteria. The BBC reported that the WHO now backs the use of GM mosquito trails. From the source article, the World Health Organization, WHO, has backed trials of genetically modified, GM, mosquitoes that could be used in the fight against the Zika virus. The WHO also said sterile irradiated male mosquitoes could also be released to mate with wild females. However, environmentalists have warned over the possible consequences of wiping out an entire species. Zika has been linked to microcephaly in babies, who are born with damaged brains and abnormally small heads. In a statement, the WHO said it was encouraging affected countries to boost the use of both old and new approaches to mosquito control as the most immediate line of defense. Initial trials using genetically modified mosquitoes developed by Oxitec, the British subsidiary of INTRXN, have been taking place in the Cayman Islands and Brazil. The mosquitoes are altered so that their offspring will die before reaching adulthood and being able to reproduce. Another technique under consideration involves releasing male mosquitoes that have been sterilized by low doses of radiation. It has already been used by the International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA, to control insects that damage crops. A third option uses Wolbachia bacteria, which do not infect humans but prevent the eggs of infected female mosquitoes from hatching. Mosquitoes carrying Wolbachia have already been released to reduce dengue fever and the WHO said large-scale trials would be carried out. The WHO has declared Zika a global emergency, although definitive proof of a link to birth defects has not yet been established. From the above article we can see that a number of ideas have been directed toward this problem. For the ones who don't know Brazil has about 460 confirmed cases of microcephaly and is investigating about 3,850 suspected cases. All are from the Zika virus. The virus has spread throughout Latin America and the USA soon to hit the UK, but Brazil has been hardest hit. Now explore the possible approved methods. Genetically modified mosquitoes developed by Oxitec. It's no secret that I believe that this company must be in part reasonable for the outbreak one year before cases started to pop up they tested their mosquitoes 100 miles from the very first case. They went on record to state that there was no way that their little genetic monsters could have been the cause as they were testing over 100 miles away. Well Oxitec I got some bad news for you the female mosquitoes can travel up to 200 miles for a blood meal. I don't like the idea of releasing radioactive mosquitoes into the environment. For the simple fact we are talking about a virus a virus we have no idea about and they mutate, mosquitoes can mutate as well. Now as for the last the Wolbachia bacteria. Yes at this point the Wolbachia does not infect humans, but it too can mutate doing more harm than the Zika virus. Some host species cannot reproduce, or even survive, without Wolbachia infection. One study concluded that more than 16% of neotropical insect species carry bacteria of this genus, and as many as 25-70% to 70 of all insect species are estimated to be potential hosts. Now we need to talk about the ethics, has the WHO or any of the companies that will take part in the experiments received permission to experiment on you? You are asking yourself experiment on me? Right. Well here is the thing infected mosquitoes will still bite you. And if things go wrong they can turn this mess much worse, personally I feel we're moving in the right way to address this, but the guys in charge are still not checking the facts. Maybe the what if guy at the CDC and the who is out sick with the flu? Stay paranoid my friends.